Right, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a rear wiper delete on the Caravel. Uh, I think it'll be the same on any other that's got a rear uh, window and washer. So, I'm going to start with taking this handle off. It just slides up. And then it should just fall off like that. Um, obviously, this is on a tailgate. I don't know if it's the same for barn doors. Or similar. I'm going to take this handle off next and then I'm going to undo the screws that go around the outside of the rear door card. Uh, where's the next one there? And one there. And it's the same on both sides. So I'll take that off and then we're on to the next step. Alright, so I've got the door card off now. Um, these side pieces pop out as well. They're held on with these clips and then I think they're supposed to have screws in the top here. But mine doesn't, doesn't have one on either half. The other half's fallen off on the floor now. And then the door card actually hooks onto these at the top. So you'd have to push it that way and then it should come off. Um, mine's got all these broken off apart from one. So it just sort of fell off once I'd taken the last screw out. But next I'm going to be taking out this motor these two 10 mils out and take the wiper arm off the other side which is a 13 mil so then all that's out of the way might take this bracket off as well actually and then we'll get on to putting the delete bung in all right so i'm going to take the wiper arm off this cap just needs pulling up out of the way like that some of them have teeth on the inside i think mine have sheared off but you just have to squeeze the cap a little bit and then it should pull off nice and easy I'm going to take this 30mm nut off and then I might have to smack the arm with a leather hammer just to try and break it free and then after that I'm going to have to undo this outer nut here that holds it all together so it looks like I was lucky the nut was actually loose uh, which meant the arm has just sort of fell off uh, usually the like seized on so you've got to either keep it on like that and then smack the arm with the palm of your hand and it should break the seal and then you can just wiggle it off I uh, just used uh, an adjustable spanner to get that nut off of here um, it weren't seized or anything so it came off quite easily now I'm going to go on the inside and remove all the wiper motor and the linkage you can see it's a little bit loose but obviously not enough to fall out and then I'm going to remove this grommet and put the new one in. Right, I'll remove those two 10 mils from there and there. I'm just going to unplug this and hopefully it just falls off. There's like a little tab on the top, I don't know if you can see it. Just need to pinch it and then it should unplug. Oh, instead the actual wiper motor's fallen out. I'm going to do it off camera, just unplug that and then pull the rest of the motor out. So the rest of the motor's out now, it's just got the washer pipe that's still hanging on. Um, I'm not sure if this has been replaced before because it's a, a rubber pipe, but I'm just going to pull it off nice and easy. And then if you want to, you can cap that pipe off. I'm not going to bother because I don't think I'll forget and accidentally fill my boot with water or washer fluid. But if you want to, you can just put a bit of pipe on there, curl it over as tight as you can and put cable tie on it. That should stop it from leaking out. So I'm just going to tuck those back up there. And that's all we're left with on the outside now is this bit of plastic and then this rubber bung. So I'll take that out and then I've got a, a solid one that will cap that off. So I'll measure it beforehand so you know what size to get. Right, so the size of the hole is near enough 24mm. So 24mm inner diameter bung is what you need to cover this hole. Right, so I've got my 24mm bung. Um, just a quick look at it, there you go. It's perfectly flat. So how I fit these is put one side in, squeeze the edges in, and then just pop the bottom in. Make sure it's seated properly. And that's that. So now I'm going to basically just put all the inside back together in reverse order. So I'll put the door card back on and then clip these into place. Uh, you don't really need to see that, it's pretty self explanatory. Put these screws back in and then put the, the bezel for the handle back on as well. If there's anything else you want to know how to do, let me know in the comments.
Thanks for watching.